Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, today we're going to kind of expand a little bit from what we've been talking about in the past. We talked about um, maxes and mins. We're going to talk about something called intervals of increasing and decreasing. It's pretty easy, okay? Uh, just real quickly, if I make a quick sketch here, like that. All right, if I had to look at this graph, what would I look at? What would I, where do I think it's increasing? Well, isn't it increasing where it's going up or where the slope is positive? Ooh, very interesting. And it's decreasing where the slope is negative. Okay, so let's get rid of all this stuff here and let's just write it out. Um, the function f of x is increasing when or where f prime of x is, of course, greater than zero. Because, again, that's a positive slope. And same thing, the function f of x is decreasing where f prime of x is less than zero. And again, this is a negative slope. Okay, pretty easy. But this is huge right here. Okay, you got to remember that. It's very important. All right. Um, so let's just, I want to do just one example here. And... Um, then you're kind of good to go with with increasing and decreasing. Okay, f of x equals 6x squared minus x to the fourth. Okay, so I'm going to do f prime of x is equal to 12x minus 4x cubed. Okay. And of course we set that equal to zero. And we could factor a 4x out of here. And we get 3 minus x squared. So 4x equals 0. And x squared equals 3. So x is 0. And x is plus or minus root 3. Right? These are candidates. Okay, so we're going to do interval testing here. And you're like, Mr. Kerfus, we haven't done anything different yet. Yeah, you're right. We haven't. So this is negative root 3. This is 0, and this is root 3. Okay, so I'm going to pick negative 2. I'm going to pick negative 1. I'm going to pick 1, and I'm going to pick 2. And remember, this is your f prime of x, right? So if I plug it in, I wind up getting positive, negative, positive, negative. So what does that mean? Well, when it's a positive slope, it's increasing. When it's a negative slope, it's decreasing. It's, it's very simple. So... Let's write this out here. Uh, increasing and remember using parentheses. You're not using brackets. The book might actually use brackets, but you have to remember. Let's look at this graph here again, right? Um, it's increasing going this way, but what happens right here? Is it increasing or decreasing? It's actually a zero slope, so it's not increasing or decreasing. The book actually uses, I don't think they use brackets, but we're using parentheses because we don't know what's going on over there. Okay, it's neither increasing nor decreasing. So it's increasing between negative infinity and negative root 3, union 0, 2, root 3. Pretty easy. Decreasing between uh, negative root 3 and 0, union, root 3, infinity. That's it. It's pretty easy, right, math fans? All right, I know I'm not going to show you another example, but I want to point something out here. If you have a problem that looks like this, well, let's say, here, let's say you're doing interval testing, and the interval testing looked like this. 
uh, we had minus, minus, plus, minus. So in other words, this was not one of our critical values, right? It was not a, uh, a relative min or relative max. This is saying it's decreasing, decreasing. What I want, let's just put some values here. Let's say this is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Just use those values. So that means at negative 3, um, please don't, you're going to say decreasing. And really, we don't know what's going on at that point. Okay, it's not increasing or decreasing because truly it's one of our critical values. And you're going to say negative infinity to negative 3 union negative 3 to negative 2 union negative 1 to infinity. That's where you're going to write it. Okay, so in other words, we're not including negative 3. And then, of course, you're increasing Uh, between negative 2 and negative 1. And what that kind of looks like is, let's say this is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. We're decreasing from negative infinity to negative 3, so we're going, the slope is kind of going, going down like this, right? And then, as opposed to like going back up again, what's happening is it's decreasing, but then it's kind of going back down again. Okay, so it's it's decreasing and decreasing. So, you know, just to kind of give you an idea what it's what's happening there. And then, of course, after negative 2, then it starts to increase. And then it, at, at this point here, it starts to come back down again. Okay, so just kind of be aware of that. But again, don't tell me, um, don't tell me negative infinity to negative 2. It's decreasing because, again, we're concerned about that point there. All right. It's a quick, real quick lesson, uh, just again talking about uh, intervals of increasing and decreasing is strictly just, you know, looking at your uh, interval uh, chart and um, coming up where it's positive, it's increasing, where it's negative, it's decreasing, alright? That's it, my fans. Adios. Goodbye.